Okay, now that you've got the hang of drawing over the graphics, now we're going to look at how to properly dimension over the graphics. So make sure before you start dimensioning that you read through the information supplied to you on how to properly dimension. Uh, we're going to start off by switching into a dimension layer. So in this case, we have red colored layer for dimensioning. Um, we're going to be selecting a linear dimension. Now, rule of thumb for dimensioning, we always want to provide our overall length, our overall width, and our overall height. So I'm going to start out just by providing my overall length here. Now, as I go to click that in, I'm looking and saying, oh my, those dimensions are really small. So we're going to go in and we're going to adjust our sizing on that. We can also see that our precision is um, quite detailed there. So we're going to type in dim style. And we're going to go in and we're going to scale this up. And when we're doing that, uh, we're going to start with a scale of 10. We'll see how that looks. And we're going to go into primary units. And we're going to bring our decimal down to zero decimal places because we we know that this drawing, all of the sizes that we did were whole numbers. If we did have decimal places, then we'd want to choose those accordingly. All right, we're going to close that. Okay, sizing looks pretty good here. Remember, don't just change your text size if you need to increase or decrease your, your size of your dimensions. Otherwise, if you just change your text size, your arrowheads don't increase in size. And you also don't have a gap between your extension line and your object. Okay, so we've got our overall length shown. We're going to want to provide our overall height of our object. So we're going to come in here, put our overall height. So that's 50. And we are also going to want to show our overall width. So that could be done either down here or potentially up here. Um, I'm just going to add it. Uh, simply at the bottom here. Now, like anything, when you're dimensioning, there's a little bit of an art to it. So it isn't always um, going to look perfect. And oftentimes, you're going to have to break a rule or two, but always minimize breaking any of those rules that we've talked about in our two-dimensional drawing. Okay. Um, now that we have our overall length, our overall height, our overall width supplied, now we can start going into some detailed drawings. Now, anytime we are going to be doing detailed drawings or detailed dimensionings, we want to make sure that we're dimensioning to where we can see the shape of the object. So, for example, if I want to show the distance rate from here to here, on my top view of this object, all that I can see is lines. So, I don't know what that shape really looks like unless I refer to other parts of my object. So, if I go over to my side view, you can see here, that we're actually now seeing the shape of that object. Whereas here, we're not truly seeing the shape. We're just seeing uh, the lines. So anyway, anytime you can dimension to the shape, we want to do that instead of just dimensioning to the lines. So we're going to put our dimension for that piece uh, right here, just like that. OK. Now, um, as we've looked at in our two-dimensional drawings, um, we don't need to dimension every part of our object. We know that this is 40 is our total distance. We've supplied then that it's 30 units here, so we don't need to supply this 10 here. You always omit one dimension in a chain. Provide your overall dimension and then omit one out of the chain. Okay. Um, next up, we can look at, say, this piece over here. Now, if we're looking at um, dimensioning this distance right here, we can really see the shape of what that is in this view. Putting that dimension distance right down here would be the exact same um, distance. However, it's really hard to tell what this is in this view. Over here, we can say, yeah, like we can really identify what that shape is. So that's where we're going to want to place our dimension. Just like that. OK. Um, now, we have shown our overall width, so we know this distance is 40. We've shown this is 20, so we don't need to show this distance right here. Um, we are going to want to show our distance across here. Um, a good rule of thumb as well, whenever you can, is to always dimension to a shape, um, not to an empty space. So rather than saying, hey, this empty space right here is this big, instead we want to dimension to our object, not an empty space. So I'm going to say, okay, our distance from here to here is 40. 
and now we know that it's 70 total, 40 here, so that remaining distance will go be 30. Um, putting this detail right here on this distance, again, in this view, we're only seeing lines. If we go to our front view, now we can see that shape of that object. So this is a much better place to dimension right here rather than right here. So we'll apply that there. Just like that. Okay. Um, now we've provided the rest of the information coming across here. We know what this distance will be here. We know what this distance is, so our width is good. Um, I think right now we're just missing a little bit of detailed height um, dimensioning. So for our height dimensioning, we could show the distance from here to here, but again, we're only looking at lines. So we're going to go over here. We can actually see the shape and we're going to show our distance from there to there. And then we can show our distance from here to here. Rather than showing it over here where it's just lines, we can see the shape here. So we're going to come on to this part of our object right here and supply our distance right there. Okay. So always double check your drawing. Again, things to always look for. Overall length should be supplied. Overall height. Overall width. Then do we have the detailed information we need? So you could start saying, okay, do I have all the length information I need about this object? Now that I know the overall length, I know that this is 40. This piece here is going to be 20. We know this remaining distance is 30. We've eliminated one out of the chain. Okay, our overall width, we can look at and say, well, our overall width is shown down here. It's 40. We don't want to repeat that dimension. We only want to show that once. So if you show 40 here and 40 here, we're now repeating dimensions and we're cluttering up our drawing. So avoid doing that. Show the dimension in one place and try to show it in the best place possible. Okay. Um, so looking at our width dimensions, we've got overall 40. We've got 30 here. The remainder is 10. That should be all that we need for any, any width dimensions there. I guess including this 20 over here, that would be considered width as well, with the remainder of that being 20. Lastly, we look at our height, overall 50. We've said that the important pieces for height is this guy right here, which is 20, and this piece right here, which is 30, and that allows us to figure out what the remainder is um, left up in here, which should be seen right there as well. So we've now supplied all the information for this drawing, and it could easily be replicated. Well, that's the end.